joyful thought to celebrate our patron theme, St. Helen. So I wish all of you a feast of St. Helen. Amen. And we gather tonight in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Nous rassemblons pour nous célébrer fait cette patronne, nous, cette Hélène. Une femme qui tient la foi, qui tient la confiance dans mon Dieu, et qui t'a utilisé talent, cadeau que le bon Dieu t'a bâti, puis te mette dans le service de l'église là. Ça va se réunir dans ce palais célébral, la fiesta de notre patronne. Una mujer de fe, una mujer que puso todos sus talentos al servicio de la iglesia. Por eso estamos alegres esta, esta noche para celebrar la fiesta de nuestra Santa Patrona, Santa Elena. Before we begin the celebration, let us acknowledge our sin and ask our loving Father to look upon us with mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have felt to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and make us for the last day of life. Amen.
Jesus looked at them and said, For men, this is impossible. But for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is sitting on his throne of glory, will yourself sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, and everyone who, had, who has given up houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or lands, for the sake of my name will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. I welcome all of you tonight to celebrate our patron feast, St. Helen. I welcome in a more special way those who are joining us on Facebook live streaming. And we wish them also feast of St. Helen. Those parishioners who have been able to be with us tonight for some reason, for reason or another, they are not been able to be with us. But we wish them a feast of St. Helen. Every parish has a special feast day. Chakpawas the young fed special. Cada parroquia tiene una fiesta muy especial. Our parish feast day is celebrating on August 18th. But if you look for the feast of St. Helen in the order and calendar of the church, unfortunately you will not find it. Some parishes have tended to to associate St. Helen feast with the feast of the triumph of, of the triumph of the Holy Cross, which we could understand because it was St. Helen who found the cross, the true cross of Jesus Christ. It was then at this time, this feast, also when people when she found the cross, and with the miracle that were taking place at that time, people came everywhere, traveled to Jerusalem to venerate the cross. And with that, we have the veneration of the cross. So very, you know, St. Helen feast is a great feast. It's a great feast for the church. She has played an important role in the church history. On this feast day, we hear the people of this parish. We celebrate St. Helen. And we have a reason to celebrate St. Helen. St. Helen, the mother of the end of Emperor Constantine, went with the son soldiers to Jerusalem. Her mission was to find the very cross of Jesus Christ, the cross that had been buried on the hill of Calvary for 300 years. For 300 years. Helen soldiers are on the hill and they found three crosses. One belonging 
belonging to Jesus, the other to the other feet, two feet. But each unmarked. Saint Helen put her trust in the Lord to give her a sign in order to determine which cross was the Lord, was the true cross of Jesus Christ. And the bishop of Jerusalem touched them with to a corpse, a dead body, causing the man to come back to life. A second miraculous healing of a sick woman confirmed the discovery of the true cross. And Christian flock to Jerusalem to venerate the holy cross. Saint Helen then visited all the holy places of Jesus' life and built many churches over their locations, including Bethlehem, the Mount of Olives, and the Garden of Gethsemane. Saint Helen is a patron of divorced people, present difficult marriages, converts, and archaeologists. So with all that, my brothers and sisters, we could say the feast we are celebrating is not just because St. Helen found the true cross. We celebrate because the life of St. Helen is an example. It's an example for each and every one of us, for each, for each Christian. It's a beautiful feast to have. They should celebrate St. Helen, not just because of churches she built, but because of faithfulness to God. Because she was faithful to God. St. Helen was born in a pagan family. In a pagan family. And when she married, with the man who had to become the emperor. But she was rejected by her husband. See that St. Helen, was, she was not fit, fit for her husband. She was not able to help her husband to get to the throne. And her husband put her aside. They washed her. But what's so, what's so interesting about her life is her quietness. And then she took her little boy, Constantine, and she educated Constantine by herself. But we say there is nothing impossible for God. The rock, the builder, eh, put aside, rejected, has become the cornerstone. Wash alone in the Mephisé or Wishtail, and this is what's the heart of the foundation of the kind. And then we can see how the land, how the good God is the same. He did it for miracles, he did it for miracles in the life. Vamos a ver cómo Dios ha sido cosas maravillas en la vida de Santa Elena. Estamos celebrando la fiesta de Santa Elena no para porque Santa Elena descubrió la cruz o construyó la iglesia y todo eso, pero estamos celebrando la fiesta de Santa Elena porque ella, ella fue una mujer de fe, una mujer de fe, una mujer que tiene un amor grande. Para Dios y para los demás. Una celebridad en el día de la lluvia. Se nos pasó en el día de la lluvia. Construir y de nuevo. O a Jesús. Una salvaza. Se nos pasó en el día de construir. A pinta, a pinta y viso. Me nos fue en el día de la lluvia. Se nos pasó en la vida de la lluvia. Se nos pasó en el día de la lluvia. Se nos pasó en el día de la lluvia. Se nos pasó en el día de la lluvia. Se nos pasó en el día de la lluvia. E se il tuo alla vista di lei, la tua cara di se tu vuoi fischi su di me, ma tu non sai che ho più da fare, tu non apprendi la vita di se di lei. 
Et bien, à l'autre, malgré ce que la lumière a été faite dans une forme que dans une femme n'est pas elle, mais ça va empêcher ce que la lumière a été grandi dans la présence de mon Dieu. Pour te faire tout petit, pour être capable de dire que la lumière a été faite dans une femme n'est pas elle, mais ce que la lumière a été faite dans une femme n'est pas elle. Quand elle a enchaîné, Désir ça. Quand elle t'a vivre la vie pour mon Dieu, ensemble avec mon Dieu. Et bien c'est ça que Frère Marcelo nous aide, nous met à parler de ciel. Mais à parler de ciel, nous ne pouvons pas faire une seule pensée. C'est un lieu que nous avons donné pour nous dans le ciel. Ce n'est pas ça seulement, ce n'est pas nous très bien aimer, ce n'est pas ça seulement parce que vivre dans le ciel, ça a été dit, c'est un état d'être. C'est une façon que nous c'est une façon que va vivre dans la présence de mon Dieu. C'est une façon que va vivre avec notre nom. C'est une relation, c'est une relation intime que va développer avec mon Dieu. Ça veut dire que nous sommes nous voulons tout notre heaven. Et nous avons eu tout ce que nous avons fait, parce que quand nous mourons, nous voulons tout notre heaven. Mais ce n'est pas juste ça, mes frères et sœurs. Heaven began today. Heaven is right now. And we can see that we said Helen, her life was a life of, of a saint, a woman of faith. Because she was living in the presence of God. Although she was born in a, in a family, in a pagan family. But that was not impaired her to live in the presence of God. To have a pious life. To be in communion with the Lord, she had that deep desire, deep desire to live for God, to live with God, to live in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. This is awesome. And that's what we call, sometimes we call heaven. As yesterday we heard the young men who approach, who approach Jesus. He said, Master, what shall I do to inherit the kingdom of God? And Jesus gave him a list. He gave him a list. He said, okay, about the commandment. Oh yes, I have to have all the commandment. Jesus, look at him. Look at him. He said, you miss you are lack of one thing. Go and sell everything and give it to the poor. And this man left sadly, very sad. And today again, we heard that Jesus look at his disciples. He said, you know what? It is difficult for a rich man to get into the kingdom of God. It is difficult for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, St. Helen, although she was from a, she, she became part of a world family. And you see, the one who was rejected, the Lord has lifted her up. You raised me up, eh? The Lord raised, said Ellen up, eh? He raised her up at a level. And that's why, my brothers and sisters, sometimes we need to let God, we need to let God do his work with you. Because God has a plan for each and every one of you, for each and every one of us. Sometimes when there are problems, difficulties, all kinds of problems. So we tend to be discouraged. We tend to, to give up. But St. Helen in her quietness, she trusted the Lord. She put her faith in the Lord. But she knew the Lord will deliver her. The Lord will deliver her. So this morning, we will defy the world with the youthfulness of a love, the love of Christ. A quote from St. Augustine can help us understand the love that, the love that drove St. Helen's life. St. Augustine said, there are two loves, the love of God and the love of the world. 
the love of God and the love of the world. If the love of the world takes possession of you, there is no way for the love of God to enter you. To enter you. Let the love of the world take the second place and let the love of God dwell in you. Let the better love take over. Do you understand, my friends? Let the love of God take over you. That's what St. Helen did in her life. Even though she became a, I will say, an empress, Augustus said, this is the last time, right? Even though she began that. But she already entered into that dynamism of love, that divine love, the love that drove her entire life. And she let the love of God, my brothers and sisters, emerge. Spread all her life. Change was from her life. Sometimes we see, we, we make, we, we, we tend to judge others. Because they are not perfect, they don't have the same faith with us. And we think that person does not love God. And no. Even though she was there, but she was just something that was nourished. And then her desire, her desire, my friend, was to find the true cause, to find, to, to go. Where the Savior of the world was born. Where the Savior of the world was born. It is very important for us to understand that St. Helen did not have a perfect charm of life. St. Helen had a gay old and he was capable to keep it well, to keep it loose. Can you imagine your jeune fille? Non, tant ça, avec nos petits bébés, nos petits garçons, non? Il pourrait se faire humiliation. Il pourrait se faire humiliation. Pour ou pas le faire. Ou pas pour moi. Ou pas pour moi. Comment on t'a senti? Mais c'est de l'aide, il t'a confiance dans mon Dieu. Il t'a confiance dans mon Dieu. Il y a un monde qui fait comme ça, ça, comme ça, hein? And she used her power 
in the service of her religious enthusiasm and help build churches throughout the Iraq. She, you know, her selflessness, her selflessness, her generosity. Story tells us Helen gave tirelessly to the church, to prisoners, to and the poor. She took care of the homeless. Whatever she had, she all, used all her time and all her gifts. Helen continued her journey. She never stopped. So what can we learn from St. Helen? We as a parish, as a community, who carry that name. What can we learn from St. Helen? Things we can learn from St. Helen that could help us to grow. And one thing is to grow in the presence of God. To grow in holiness. And do not let the citizens of life, do not let trials, tribulation, suffering, rejection, do not let these things take us away from the Lord. Even we are living in a, in a very difficult time by the COVID-19 virus. We are scared, we are afraid. St. Helen today tells us, do not let this moment, this time we live it in, take, us, take our eyes away from the Lord. We need to place our eyes on the Lord. We need to trust the Lord. We need to trust the Lord. Sometimes in your own relationship, you are fighting away in a relationship. You are struggling in your relationship. And St. Helen tells you, hold on, trust the Lord. Do not be discouraged. Have faith. There is a way out. God will deliver you. And the second thing we can learn from St. Helen is her determination. A Christian is someone who is determined to live her life, to live her faith, and to use our talent to serve our brothers and sisters. To serve. To have a generous heart and to always to be ready to share the gift the Lord has put in our hands. And the power we have, the skill we have, the talent we have, it is not just for our own use. It is to help our brothers and sisters to grow, to take care of our brothers and sisters. And the second, the other thing. Helen, her love for the Lord. She did not let the, she did not, even there is a love of the world, and love of Christ, but she let the love of God take possession of her life. Takes possession of her life. We from Absalom, you can come up on the same dilemma, I swear.
Nous sommes capables de une direction, nous sommes capables de une route là, que mon Dieu lui-même l'a fait route avec. Et nous restons dans cette élève, nous restons dans la vie de cette élève, comme mon Dieu lui-même, femme qui a été rejetée, hein? et mon Dieu le plus levé en l'air. Lui levé en l'air. C'est comme ça que mon Dieu est capable de faire merveille, miracle pour nous-mêmes hein? dans la vie. Bon. Et deuxième bataille, c'est détermination, c'est de l'aide. Pour être capable d'atteindre l'objectif. Et avec détermination, ça nous est qui place. Nous est, nous est beauté l'église. Et c'est ça qui fait que nous sommes capables de jouer aujourd'hui. Hein? Nous sommes capables. Ouais, quoi? Eh bien, vous ne pouvez pas que ce soit l'autre bâton encore. C'est le choix que nous avons fait. Parce que nous avons dans le monde qui est capable de faire nous égarer. Nous avons le pouvoir, nous avons l'argent. Mais c'était là lui-même qui était quitté. Nous avons le bon Dieu qui nous a fait. Il était quitté, nous avons le bon Dieu qui nous a Il était quitté, bon Dieu, marcher ensemble avec elle. Et c'était dans le rêve de Dieu, ça, que cet élève de la ville, lui-même, tout est tourné, il y a un rêve pour l'autre, dans la façon qu'il t'a dit, dans la façon qu'il t'a partagé, cadeau que mon Dieu t'a perdu, donc il t'a gagné. Puisque nous sommes oui, c'est le rêve, parce qu'il est que, comme chrétien, comme on de l'évangile vivre, comme on christianos, de l'évangile qui est la confiance en le Seigneur, que nous avons nos problèmes de portales, nos guides à la vista de Dieu en notre vie, siempre mantenemos firme delante del Seigneur. Et también la determination que nous avons de Dieu par la un cristiano no es muy importante para vivir en su fe y para cuando tenemos que hacer algo por Dios y hay que hacerlo, hay que pedir al Señor la fuerza para hacerlo y por la determinación de Santa Elena vemos como Santa Elena you know, a cambiar, a transformar la iglesia y por eso hoy Nosotros también podemos pedir a Santa Elena que nos ayude a vivir como ella vivió, con una determinación firme, con una, una, una fe firme. Let us ask for the Lord through the intercession of St. Helen that we may continue to live our life, to live our faith, and we may continue to be the good of Christians, as a parishioner, who may continue to live our life, following the example of St. Helen, in so doing, this community, St. Helen community, will be transformed, and we will feel the presence of God here at St. Helen, and each and every one of you will could be a sign of hope, a sign of love, a sign of faith for others, in the way we live with each other. So let us ask the Sentinel to be with us, to, be, uh, to continue to lead us and to show us the way to heaven. May God bless each and every one of you and may you never discourage my friends. Let us keep Sentinel close to our eyes, to our hearts, so that we may lead our faith like her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Every friend, let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only divine Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God to God, to light from right, to God up to God, he got in that way, as essential with the Father. Who have all things for me, for us men and for our salvation, be 
gave down from heaven. And that the Holy Spirit was the Father of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, for the God of the conscious fathers, he suffered death and was buried, and was in the end of the third day, in according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge and to the dead, and in seek of the heart of man. I will give your Holy Spirit, the Lord of your life, for sake from the Father and the Son, who is the Father and the Son of the Lord and Lord God, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one body Catholic and number for the church. I confess and baptize and put for me this of sin. And I look forward to the great grace of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And if I feel with the joy of this celebration we bring before God, our prayers through the intercession of St. Helen for the church and for the world. For the church, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop, Thomas, Father Lucian, all priests, religious brothers and sisters, deacons, and the laity that would continue to bring renewal and deep commitment to the faithful service among God's people through the intercession of St. Helen, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For world leaders, our government, towns, and elected officials, those whose actions affect our daily lives, like St. Helen, may they use their political position and power to serve and develop a greater desire to work together, seeking an end to poverty, war, the COVID-19 pandemic, and climate change. Through the intercession of St. Helen, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are friends. That all families, especially husbands and wives, would offer their gifts to Christ and experience the peace and joy in deepening their relationship, growing in faith and becoming effective teachers and examples of the Beatitudes for their children. Through the intercession of St. Helen, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are friends. Pour tout le monde qui est engagé dans le travail, capable d'inspirer la fidélité à la vie Saint-Hélène, étant pour lui que capable de bon chrétien à bon témoin Jésus, mais de la vie dans la compassion à la générosité, constat qui a servi nos lumières pour toute communauté familiale à tout le monde, par intercession Saint-Hélène, en nous la prière. Tout le monde qui a passé un moment difficile dans la vie mondiale et qui a senti la vie familiale bouleversée, dans tout ce que l'air fait faire, c'est pour toujours que mes croix, Père à Jésus qui était le Dieu vivant, bien vivant, de croire que nous avons une guérison à l'espoir dans la relation. A vous de vous la vie, la Christ là, qui est le vieux sorti vivant dans la mort, par intercession Saint-Hélène, en nous la prière. Gomène, écoutez la prière. Que tous ceux qui sont divorciés, filles ou séparés, nous contarions la communauté et la confiance en Jésus, qui est le chemin, la vérité et la vie. Pour l'intercession de Saint-Hélène, para nuestra escuela, facultad y personal, como el nuevo año escolar comienza, para que estés en el conocimiento, la sabiduría y la virtud y ser protegido a de todo mal en los próximos meses. Por la intercesión de Santa Elena, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha nuestra oración. We pray for all those people throughout the world who are suffering from the COVID-19 virus and particularly for those who are in the hospital. We pray also for the sick and elderly who at this time may feel particularly vulnerable and 
isolated and unable to experience the joys of life through the intercession of St. Helen. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are prayers. All of us gathered here tonight we come to settle this peace. We all have our own personal intention that we want to make before the Lord and through the intercession of St. Helen as a, a man of faith, trust the Lord will heal us, especially this community. Faithful God, draw us ever closer to you. Hear our prayers and answer them in your mercy. We make these prayers through the intercession of St. Helen, your friend and holy servant. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. To the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of Blessed Saint Helen, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace. We ask for this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. In a similar hour when supper was handed, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this out of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be brought for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. My dear beloved, let us offer to each other this sign of peace with a sign of gesture of waves and and to say happy feast of St. Helen and peace of Christ be with you all.
uh, less uh, with the choirs, the Haitian Spanish, uh, in, in this choir, thank you so, so very much. The liturgical group and those who have read the lectures and those who do the prayers and commentaries and this is the cathedral, the cell, and all of you, all of you, and the other servers, thank you very so, so very much. And Sister Tom, Sister Tom, she has worked so hard. Eh? She makes all flowers for us. I didn't even know she had that talent, you know. She had that very, she's very talented. And thank you, sister. And thank you to all of you. All of you. The musician, thank you. Thank you so, so very much. The ushers, thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for this family. Thank you. And may God continue to bless you abundantly. Pray. Pray for each other. Pray for each other. Let's keep each other in prayer, okay? That's all we can do. That's all we can do. And thank you for uh, benefactors. People have, you know, uh, we don't have much, but we have a big heart. And I see if you have much, I see how much you could give. Eh? <laughs> so thank you so, so much. We God continue to bless you, okay? The Lord be with you.
Maman père du ciel en main. C'était maman père du ciel en main. La personne dégagée là avec lui. Il y a un de maman dernière. Je ne sais pas si tu as une photo.